Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday, April 29th and today is actually my last day of being a biology teaching assistant. So being a teaching assistant has really just opened my eyes and gave me a completely different perspective of education. So for next fall and spring semester, I actually received a fellowship to focus more on my research. So I won't be teaching. So therefore, today is my last day of teaching as a master's student. I do have mixed feelings on this because again, I really love teaching, but the fellowship is really going to help give me a lot of extra time to focus more on my research. So since today is my last day of teaching, I really wanted to document it because uh, this is a very memorable experience for me. And I thought that I would give you some of my top tips of being a successful teaching assistant. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So I will see you guys whenever I get to class. All right, hey guys, so I just got to school. So I'm not going to be able to talk much because students are already walking into the classroom. So I'm probably gonna do like a voiceover or something. So the first thing that I'm doing today, since today is the last day, they just have a final. So literally all I'm doing is passing out their final and then they also have to turn in their notebooks. So today I'm going to be grading pretty much the entire day because I made my final like extended response and fill in the blank. But I actually did this for a reason. I know it kind of sucks grading, but honestly, I think if you tell them it's going to be extended response and fill in the blank, I feel like they will study a lot better. They'll actually take something from the class that you teach. Whenever you tell them that they're going to have like a multiple choice exam, they're not going to really retain the material as well. And I know at some universities, teaching assistants don't have the opportunity to make their own exams, but I'm lucky the class that I teach and the university that I teach at, I get to make my own exams. So that's how I format the exam. And I guess that would be the first tip for the exams. I make them extend a response and fill in the blank, but I don't make them very long. It's I make them like 10 to 11 questions. Also, I guess for the second tip, going along with that, the way that my lab is set up, I lecture for the first portion of the class and then we do a lab for the second half of the class. And whenever I lecture, I go over PowerPoint slides. So I take all the material for my exams straight off of the PowerPoint slides. Anything that is on the exams, I tend to bold and underline, and I tell the students, hey, anything bolded and underlined is probably going to show up on the exam, so you should probably know those things. <laughs> and then also, the week before the intended exam, I do like to give them like a quick review. I don't tell them like the answers or anything. I just say, hey, make sure that you're familiar with these topics. Make sure you know them well enough that you can write about them in an extended response question. So that's the first two tips I would say relating to exams on how you can be a successful teaching assistant, how you can help your students be successful in your course. So I'm gonna head to class now. It is about 10 minutes before my class starts. I'm gonna ask the students if they have any last minute questions. And then at nine o'clock on the dot, which is when my class starts, I will pass out the exam. So I will see you guys whenever I'm done with class. All right, hey guys, welcome to the voiceover. So this is a classroom that I teach in, and this is how I like to organize all of my stuff at the beginning of class. So coming into class early is my next tip. I like to get to my class um, 30 to 45 minutes early, just so I can write all of my material out on the board and get everything ready for class. So like I said in a previous video, I prepare for teaching the night before I come in to teach. So what I like to do is I like to look at all of the material that I'm going to be teaching and I take a scrap sheet of paper and I write down what I would like to put on the board on the scrap sheet of paper. So I could just come right in and write everything on the board. So again, since they're just taking the final today, I'm just writing um, for them to make sure they turn in their notebooks. I know that sometimes uh, people get test anxiety and um, they'll like forget to turn something in. So I just wrote for them to make sure 
they turn in their notebooks and what time they can pick up their notebooks. So the next tip that I want to go over is time management because being a teaching assistant uh, really does require a lot of time and organization. So for example, I always grade exams and notebooks and lab reports the day that my students turn them in. Actually, I start grading them the second they turn them in. For example, um, today, whenever they turned in their final, I just started grading it right away. And again, I always grade everything the day that they turn it in, just so I don't forget about it. And just so everything stays organized and it's fresh in my head, it's just easier on me in the long run if I get it done the day that they turn in their material. So the next tip that I'm going to talk about is grading. So for grading, I highly recommend that you make a rubric for everything you grade. Well, maybe not exams, but for notebooks and for lab reports, I highly recommend that you make a rubric. So here is my rubric as an example. I do like to give them credit for turning in their assignment on time. I know a lot of other TAs don't like to do this, but I think it's a really great idea. I teach a freshman based class, it's biology one, so I really like to be a little bit easier on them because they are getting used to college still, but having a rubric really makes everything easier to grade, a lot faster to grade, and more efficient because I don't have students coming up to me saying, well, why did you take off five points? They have it on the rubric right there in front of them. They can see why I took off five points. Or they can't be like, oh, well, Nancy did the same thing as me and she only got one point off where I got two points off. It just keeps everything really fair and I just think it keeps everything a little bit more professional. So going along with that, my next tip is to keep all of your students grades and information in the cloud. So I highly recommend using like Google Drive, but just keeping the data on your computer is really not the best idea because you never know if your computer is going to crash or, you know, like it's very easy to lose the information that way. So I like to keep my information on Google Drive because with every keystroke that you make, everything is being saved. So I highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. I've heard a lot of horror stories from a bunch of my professors where they lost all their students' information and it was absolutely horrible. Out of all the tips that I go over, I think this is probably the biggest tip that you should take away from this video. So last but certainly not least, be the teaching assistant that you have always wanted. I know during my undergraduate experience, I did not have that many good TAs. So whenever I obtained this position, I really wanted to just be the best TA that I possibly could. And I really, really wanted my students to be as successful as possible. Create a bond with your students, learn their names, learn a little bit about them, and just be yourself. You know, don't don't try to play teacher, don't try to be too strict, don't try to be overly nice and give everybody A's, but just be yourself. In the end, it's about their success, so just try to help lead all of your students to success. All right, hey guys, so it's actually a couple days later and I'm editing this video now and I just realized that I forgot to film an outro. It was personally really fun uh, just documenting my last day as a teaching assistant as a master's student. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips that I have on being a successful teaching assistant. If you guys have any tips yourself, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So I will see you guys in my next video.